Hey Curvy Babies, welcome back to my channel. Ooh, we're back at it again with another tutorial for you guys. Ooh, ooh. This one has been surprisingly very much requested. So, you know I had to do it. I had to come and give you guys what you need. Check out the moonlight. Oh, oh Sam. I only ever skate in these indoors, so. Today's a lucky day for them. They're gonna be in a YouTube video because it is raining and I was gonna do a transition video but it turns out that the rain has other ideas. I mean, come on, look at this. Sunny but also wet. So, I don't know, not today. It's okay though, because I have something else very special in store for you guys. I'll be giving you 10 groovy skate moves that you can do in small spaces. Let's do it. One, two, three, let's go. Okay, so with the rain aside, a lot of you guys have been asking me if I can make you a tutorial for how to skate in small spaces. Well, believe it or not, Every single trick that you know how to do, you can do inside. Hear me out. Because nine times out of 10, when we're out there skating and rolling and you know, there's a whole bunch of space, we really don't need all that space. Like sometimes I just like to get down, go over and just like start doing my own thing right in the middle of the dance floor. Like, and it's really not like, you don't have to be out there doing all this crazy stuff. So just so you know, 80% of the tutorials that are on my channel already, you can do inside. You can do them right in the comfort of your own home because I do and you know, I get it. We like want to learn new things. So I have some other concepts ready to go for you. Today we're going to go over all of the amazing things you can do inside on a rainy day like this so let me get all laced up real quick double knot and we can roll most important thing to take note of when you're skating inside is to be very conscious and aware of like what's around you like even down to like little things that can be on your floor that potentially could hurt you um, just because you're inside or in a small space doesn't mean you ain't gonna fall. You definitely can and you probably will. <laughs> oh! So um, move tables out of the way, anything with sharp edges, and just be safe in that manner. Um, let's get right to it. Now we're done with all the boring stuff. My moon lights on today. And they're so cute. Now let's get into the first move, which is basically the very first tutorial I've ever made on this channel, the Zero. I'm sure you guys have seen it. This is just one of the basic moves that you can do while in a small space. Essentially, it looks like this. Heel up, transfer, turn. Heel, transfer, turn. Heel, transfer, turn. And what you can do is practice like Maybe not gliding as far if you're in a smaller space. Um, maybe try and like do some agility training. Maybe like one, two, turn. One, two, turn. And you know, the tutorial is in my channel. I'll put it in the description. Pretty much everything in here is also going to be um, already tutorialized on my channel. So you're definitely going to want to check that out, okay? So that's the first move. Next, we have something called the barrel roll. I learned this probably like when I first started skating, but it's a super fun little move. So you're just here, here. I'll give you a quick breakdown. Um, a lot of people have been telling me 
like a turnaround. So I guess I'm gonna try that this time. Um, so start the move. Heel up. Transfer. So now all your weight is on this front leg and your toe is down in the back, right? So practice that. Transfer. Transfer. Transfer, right? And then next, you're gonna transfer that weight back out. And now you're just transferring the weight still in this leg right here. And then your heel comes out. Here, 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 out. Back down. Out. Heel. Show you again from the front. Heel out with your right leg. Back, you're transferring. Out again. Shift to the other leg. Back, out. Shift, back, out, out. Back. So the count is like this. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I hope that makes sense. If you need me to break that down a little bit more in a separate video, I can do that for you. But for now, we're gonna move on to move number three, which is the downtown. So this is a really fun move, um, pretty basic, I have a tutorial for it, link to everything that I've already done a tutorial on will be linked down below in the description for you guys for easy access, okay? So, downtown, you can do this in such a small space, you can practice with different tempos, bam, 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 Bam! 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 So weird, I don't have any music at all. So for the downtown, like some different variations that you could do is maybe like the flip switch or like add some little steps into it. Like, okay, so a flip switch. I just hope I can do it. I don't know if this is too small or not. But here. Seriously. 
that's dribbling. I already did a whole tutorial, so we're not gonna go over that today. Next, loop number five is gonna be the crab walk, which is one step before you're getting those crazy legs. I believe in you. I'm still working on it, but we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> Cause we got this, okay? So, crazy, oh not crazy legs, sorry, I got ahead of myself. Crab walk. All this is, it's like take your feet from the V, in, out, in, out, in. And that's all it is. And you can play around with the tempo. You go here, you go there, whoop, here, there, here, there, oh, oh. Use your arms. Oh my god, that big ass turkey. Saturn, what is that? <gasps> Okay, where was I? These turkeys be having me cracking up. Where was I? Crab walk. Okay. So yeah. Hand up like this. Hair. In. Out. Baby. It looks so much different when you're actually like jamming with your arms. Like imagine. sweating for you guys, okay? Let's talk about crazy legs. We all know it's been a long journey for me trying to figure out crazy legs, but there are some drills that you can do inside. We've all seen it, but let's go over it again. So, I'm gonna show you where I'm at now. Up. 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 Up.
is this. It's a good exercise. Whew, up. I think that's enough toe practice for one day. <laughs> so yeah, crazy legs. It's another great move to do in small spaces. If you can't do that, work in your manuals. Toe manuals. Work on heel toe manuals. Try to switch it. Work on those manuals. Okay, next. Okay, no, seriously, y'all. Let's see how much work I put into these tutorials. Like, I don't know if this is work or if this is just not normal, cause I am, what? <laughs> I'm like sweating more than I do in my workout, so maybe I should just ski every day as a workout. A concept, okay. Now it's time for number seven. I guess it expands, baby. So, spin. It's really not that big of a deal, um, but I just want to say I'm not a professional. I've been meaning to make a tutorial, but in respect for you guys and myself, I try not to make tutorials until I'm 100% knowing exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. And spins, sorry to say, like, I just, I'm still working on it, and I um, want to make sure that I can give you you guys 100% knowledge and not be one of those people that are spreading false information. So just bear with me a few more months I'll have my spins. I, I feel like I'm learning a lot, but you know, just to make sure I know what's going on. Okay, so one thing that I can do is show you how to do the basic spin, which is like a pump, right? A little pump action. So, pump spins are actually pretty simple. Um, you can do them in a small space. It'll definitely help you practice on your um, opening and closing. I think I showed you guys this before. It's opening and closing the book. It's kind of similar to transitioning, but instead, you're making like a C shape. Think of yourself like opening up, following through, opening, closing, open. Close, right? So what's happening is your feet are doing this. And you automatically kind of do like a heel toe motion when you really start pumping. Follow. Open your shoulders, look behind you. Follow. Open. Follow. Open. Follow. So that's really all it is to it. Just keep practicing that. Practice. Pumping, you're opening up, following, opening, following. And eventually you'll get to the point where you can lift that toe, lift that heel, and get you a good heel toe manual. But for now, I'll just practice opening and closing the book. It's a good thing to practice in a small space, if you're indoors, or just whatever, baby, do you. Do what you gotta do, okay? Next. Tip number eight, we're gonna talk about stopping on a dime, okay? Now, for those of you who have your toe stops in, challenge yourself. If you don't have toe stops in, these are some essential stops that you need to learn in order to stop, honey, okay? So, there are two essential stops that I like to do, and that's what we'll cover today. We have the T stop, and then we have the V stop personal favor, right? So, or you can like do like one of those motions. I don't really like those. I don't like T-stops, honestly. Um, I think V-stops are actually pivotal because like when people are T-stopping, they usually like drag and that's what I started too. So don't be down on yourself. I think it's just honestly the way it's set up because all four wheels are trying to like ground and it's very hard because usually your inner wheels are the ones that's catching the cement on whatever you're on. So, practice putting it down. You gotta find that sweet spot. Like you are on all fours. All of your weight is in this front leg. You are grounding and pushing through that front leg and using those four wheels to stop yourself. So. Cool. That's cool and all, but I'm V 
these sprouts all the way. My girl Tanika taught me this and at, when she taught me this, like probably like a few months into my journey, changed my life. Cause I was really a hardcore toe stopper cause that tea stop wasn't working for me. So, same concept, back two wheels are up. It's like you're doing this like little fancy, fancy thing. And you are again, stabilizing, grounding into this leg using these two wheels to stop you, slow you down. Be yourself. It's a great thing to practice. Try them both out. Let me know which one you like most in the comments because I feel like the V-stop is where it's at. <laughs> okay, next, number one is going to be the strut walk. Because yes, you can do it like walking in line with all your besties, but you can also do it inside and in place. So we talked about this before, just everything that's going on outside, you can do it inside too. You don't even need that much space. I have this little one bedroom apartment, but you better believe I'll make it work, okay? So there you go. Cross, cross, cross. And to stay in place, <laughs> You really want to squeeze those inner thighs so that you don't go anywhere. Or also hit it from like a diagonal as well. You're not completely straight when you're doing it. Diagonal. I'm not moving anywhere. It's all about mind and body connection. Tell me what you thought, but I'm, I'm telling you, you really have to connect your mind and your body. Look up. Don't look down at your feet. Focus on the move. Focus on what you're doing. So yeah, if you want to learn how to strut walk, I've already done a tutorial on that. So you can go ahead and check it out. And um, if you're not comfortable with that, you can always do a little two-step that I taught everybody. That's kind of like first step to getting your strut walk. Over, out, over, out. like my feet are doing a shift right all there is to it me it's like that is my 10 best moves that I can give you guys right now to practice let's see if maybe I can like make a little like a little routine or something for you guys to actually practice and get some music I'll try and put some of these moves together for you and like just give it a go in your house like in your space it doesn't have to be anything complicated jam skating or dance skating rhythm skating whatever you want to call it it's all about expression and using your body to really give off different shapes and vibes and looks. It's really not even about the moves. Like, 
it's about your personality shining through and doing what you do and feeling amazing okay so give me like five minutes i come up with a little little something that you guys can practice <laughs> one eternity later just follow me okay helped at least one of you guys i'm not gonna break down that whole dance because i'm beat <laughs> but just slow it down give yourself time take it one step at a time every single move that's in there is a part of a tutorial or i explained it in this video okay um just the point is to add your own flair to it it doesn't have to be anything fancy <laughs> all those moves are super basic just put them together and make your own like jam skate style you know just have fun with it and this proves that even if you're in a small space you can still get your jam on okay thank you so much for watching guys see you in my next tutorial stay groovy peace